Hey, it's Tanya D. But anyway, um, I've been asked to do a review and like a try on and tutorial. I did use this once before. So when I used it again, I was a little more careful, which you'll see. And if you want to know what I think about these, because I did buy this, but I'll find, you'll find out why I'm not going to use this. Just keep on watching. Okay, so before I start with this foundation, I prepped my face because I've heard nothing but how drying and matte it is um, for people who have dry skin. And if you've been watching me for a while, that's like all I talk about is how my skin is dry. And I've been using this moisturizer, which is great. I use it all the time. And um, I remember always showing you guys I had all these little dry spots. I don't have those little dry patches anymore. It's kind of smoothed out, but I have to use it. And I'm also using this. I'm also using this serum that I got in my Ipsy bag, which is amazing. And um, yes, if you notice my background, I am in the hospital, not me, my husband. And I've been here for a few days, so I am just going to record these videos I need to do and yeah so you're told to shake this really well and I tried some of it I've already tried like this on half of my face and I did notice that it's you have to use it you have to work with it really quick it um, is drying it dries fast it's uh, I don't know it's just and I have dry, dry skin, so, and I did get, they said it oxidizes fast, so I got a lighter color, but I, I got it too light. So if you could go in and get it, uh, like, picked out from the Sephora, do it. I went into on, uh, online, and I went online and got it, and it's really, really light. But we're going to just work with it for now. I, I'll, I'll bronze up the foundation and I'll bronze my face up and it'll kind of just be okay. But, okay. See, and I, because I'm so dry here, my piercing's out. Because it's so dry here, I do have to super pat it and wait till it dries. Because it will move um, around. So I kind of have to wait, but it isn't full coverage. As you can see, I have a dark spot here and some freckles, and it doesn't really cover it up. And I love this blender, but with this kind of foundation, I notice it takes up like a, it soaks up a lot of the foundation. And it isn't a, a full coverage, but I do like the coverage. I don't, I'm not a full, full coverage person anyway. I do like when a little of my freckles show. But as you can see, you can see the difference in my face already. Look at, like, it is coverage, but I don't know if I can get any closer. But it's really not full coverage. And do you see how it's already, see it's drying for my skin since my skin's already dry no matter how much I prep it. It's still, it's still that. So, and for my age, I do have age lines. I have uh, lines, wrinkles, you know, uh, stuff when you age. And it, like, shows it big time. So, if you see, see, every, I don't know. To me, it just looks like my pores are more defined okay so I tried to go back over because um like it doesn't cover my dark circles I'm trying to go up close because when I look at myself from far away it looks like wow it looks pretty good but when I get really up close you could see like there is like a missing patch here so I try to cover it the foundation comes off again then I have to pat it but then it comes off do you see that weird I don't know if my camera's picking it up. For me, it's hard to work with. 
and it looks so patchy. Like I would choose my store-bought foundation way over this anytime. I, for me and my skin, I don't like it. I don't know if you could see, but look, it is like zoomed in and I just barely touched it. Look, it already moved. No foundation. I just barely touched it. This is frustrating. I'm going to put some concealer on because this doesn't cover anything. And I did get the powder, but because this is so drying, I'm not going to set it with this powder. I'm going to just turn the powder back in. But I am going to set my under eyes because, you know, I have to do that. It's just, oh, I don't know. Okay, so I went ahead and set my uh, under eye. But it's still so bad because it dries down to where it really does feel like a powder. So I guess, like, if you're oily or combination, I think it'll work great. Because, um, because it's so drying. <laughs> and if you're younger, I don't know, I'm 41. And to me, this foundation, like, and this is 190. This foundation, like, shows my wrinkles more. Like, you couldn't tell before, now you can. My pores, like a scar I got from a long time ago, it's like sinks in it and just, I don't know. Second time I've tried this and this is the same thing I felt like the first time I tried it and I can still feel, I don't like it. I have dry skin, I'm very dry, I get no oil. Like no oil comes from my face and it's just, and it's very drying and I get so dry during winter, especially around here to where it like cracks and this would show it big time. And I'm gonna do close up like, and where that foundation came off, I reapplied powder and it's still little patches here. It just, I'm not happy with it. I really want it to be, you know, cause she's, what's amazing about this is they have, she has so many foundation colors when a lot of people don't, uh, they stop at a certain color. They only have, uh, you know, a little bit. But for her first launch to be like 48 colors, and then I heard they're going to add more. It's just, and this, I don't know. I mean, props to her for all that and for the people that can use it. But for me, for dry skin, I don't think it, it works out. But let me do the rest of my face, and I'll be right back. 